have to admit, I was a little worried that this might be awkward. How come? Well, I mean, you know, I am friends with Judith. We do talk. No kidding. Well, the, uh, the next time you talk, be sure to use the word remarkable. <laughs> oh, Alan, look, I, I'm not like that. I mean, I believe in discretion. Really? I think it's overrated. <laughs> Go ahead, tell her. <laughs> no. In fact, you know, I wish Judith had a little more discretion. What do you mean? Well, she just goes on and on about her sex life with Herb. <laughs> Big Bird's pretty boring, huh? <laughs> no. I mean, the way she tells it, he is an amazing lover. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Herb Melnick is an amazing lover? Yeah, she said he's the best that she's ever had. No. No. That, that, that can't possibly be right. How can that be? Well, apparently, he's just... No. I can't go into that. Sure you can. Go ahead. No, you know, it wouldn't be right. I'm, I'm sorry. Just forget I said anything. Best she's ever had. He's waiting for you. No! Great, great. Yeah, come on, Alan. I didn't say anything, did you? Nothing jumped out at me. <laughs> I just don't get it. What is his secret? Maybe he doesn't have a secret. What do you mean? I mean, you didn't set the bar too high to begin with. <laughs> it's like Judith spent 15 years living on peanut butter and jelly. So if someone comes along and offers her bologna, she's going to think it's a steak sandwich. Jake, your father's here. So I'm sorry to hear about you and Cynthia. She told you? Of course she told me. We're friends. Oh. Did she happen to mention the word remarkable? No, but she did say she didn't think you were over me. Oh, he's over you, right, Alan? All right. But what's the deal with Herb's junk? <laughs> What? Nothing, nothing. Hey, Dad. Hey, buddy, let's go. Bye, Judith. Real subtle. Sometimes you just gotta ask. See you on Sunday, Herb. Okay, have a good weekend. <laughs> wow, look at him go. Okay, mystery solved. 